the valves in your irrigation system are essentially electronic doors. After water passes through the backflow preventer, it's held under pressure behind each valve. When it receives an electronic signal from the irrigation controller, the valve opens, allowing water to pass through to the sprinklers. The number of valves in your system depends on the size of your yard. You'll find most of them installed underground in boxes for protection. You may someday need to operate one of these valves manually, for instance, to check a sprinkler or in case of a power outage. If so, open the box and find the valve solenoid. That's the cylinder with wires attached to it. Slowly turn the solenoid 90 degrees counterclockwise, then wait a few seconds until you hear water rushing through the valve. To close the valve, turn the solenoid clockwise until it's hand tight. The water will take a few moments to stop. Some or all of your valves may have been fitted with Rainbird's flow control stem. Rising from the center of the valve, this unit will help you maintain the proper water flow for better sprinkler performance and water conservation. The stem was adjusted to meet the needs of your property when your system was installed, but if there's been a significant change in water pressure, you may notice certain problems. If the water pressure is too high, the sprinklers may begin misting or throwing too far. Too little pressure and the sprinklers won't properly water their area of coverage. To decrease the water flow, turn the flow control stem clockwise. To increase the flow, turn the stem counterclockwise. In an emergency, you can turn off the sprinklers from any particular valve by turning the valve's flow control stem clockwise until it's hand tight. 